Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. So, the chapter titles Footsteps Follow. Instead of that, I'm going to the hunting range. So I may go hunting and acquire new and useful stuff. By battling frogs to the death. Let's see. Ayla doesn't have any text yet. And I can't take her to the end of time because, uh, my time key, gate key was stolen. And instead of getting cash for defeating these enemies, I get the alternative currency used by chief trading only. Oh, hey, look at this. Ion and anion. Nice. I like Ayla's raw strength. Also, the fact that later on she lets you bypass a stealth segment. I like that this game gives you the option to just bypass the stealth segment. Oh, hey, I'd better hurry. While it rains, a rare enemy shows up. That gives awesome... Is this it? No, that's a rock. That gives awesome rewards. Oh. I missed my opportunity. Hey, frog. Oh. I may not need to use the resources to use Robo's target all enemies attack. Alright, so. Hello, frogs. Also, this gives me a chance to train Ayla up a bit, and, uh, like, I do get tech points out of this, right? Experience points. No tech points. That makes me sad. So this doesn't give me a chance to have Ayla learn. Huh. Ayla's default healing skill restores status, unlike Marl's default healing skill, which just restores HP. Does it restore less HP? Since Ayla's weapon is just her bare hand, I think she gets some better damage multipliers or something than anyone else does. Like, her weapon is just a fist. Hmm, power scarf. I Oh wow, she's got really good speed. Like, she's her default speed is better than Chrono's default speed. Also, it occurred to me that if I wanted to do a new game plus, it would probably be good to uh, put all the magic, power, and speed tabs into Chrono until he can't handle anymore. Because one of the endings requires you to go fight the final boss with just Chrono and maybe Marl. Oh, you do get tech points for some of these enemies, though. Alright, so. Gotta hurry so I can try to find the rare enemy. Oh. Sometimes the rare enemy can spawn up there, and that makes me sad. 
because the only way up there is through this. Okay. Going, going, going. Oh, there's another way up there. Next time it starts raining, I'm going to put a save state. So there's two ways up here and I just missed that there was another way over here. The water here looks less like it's water and more like it's a manifestation of the abyss. Okay, so save. Okay, let's try loading. All right, let's try loading. All right, clearly I am missing a path to some location. Oh, hey. There we go. New. No. You may think, oh, you already fought a new in the Middle Ages. What's different about this one? It drops uh, feathers and horns and such. Ouch. She needs to have just enough HP that she doesn't get one shot by it doing one point of damage. Wow, that's a high critical rate. Are new just very vulnerable to critical rates, or do they just roll really well? 30 tech points. Nice. Robo's level up. You strong. Here, take. Three of each of the following. Petals, fangs, horns, and feathers. You plenty strong. Take. Got a third eye. Doubles your evade. Who's got the highest evade? You. Yeah. So, yeah. That enemy, I feel, is definitely worth seeking out. Up next... I'm going to go see about uh, trading for all the kinds of things. Let's see, four times three times two, 12. So there's what, 24 different items I could get here? All right, pedal. Can I double up on one? Okay. So. Petal and Fang. Ruby Gun, sure. Yes. Petal and Horn. Wait, I already got a Sage Bow. Curses. Petal. And feather. F 
fang and horn flint edge so I guess that's a sword for chrono fang and feather oh my armor huh I might need more than one of those but instead I'm just going to grab the one and uh Let's see here. So 93, 103, 91, 97. Ruby Vest cuts fire damage, but I'm not going to see fire damage anytime soon. But yeah, instead of uh, grinding to get enough of those for everyone, which would be like, what, five of them by now? Kino, what you do? Say now! Ayla, Kino take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayla best. Ayla like Chrono, but Kino not, uh, not like. Miss Ayla, please do not promote violence. Kino, you know why I punish? Ayla no like Kino. No, Ayla like Kino best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. Ayla. Sorry, Ayla. Sorry, Chrono. Give back stuff to Chrono. No have. Reptites take. Reptites, where they go? Run into trees. There. Ayla go to. Kino go back to village. Kino protect village when Ayla not there. Okay, Ayla. Kino is man. So if Ayla die, Kino chief then. Ayla, you are gentle at heart. Chase reptites. Get back Chrono stuff. So even though we never directly see it, Kino is implied to be pretty strong simply because Ayla likes him. And Ayla likes strong people. Ah! Ambush. Alright. Oh, I forgot to heal people after... Uh... The gold eaglets change color... Anyway, I don't want Ayla dying while I'm out here, so have some healing. Wait, what? I want to defeat the red eaglet. That- oh! That's right, dinosaurs breathe fire. Giving the ruby vest more value than I thought. Okay, I don't know what attack that was. Huh, right. They're shaped like the bell birds, but they don't have bells because bells don't exist yet. Got one? Revive. Alright, so now... Wow. It sure does take a while for this one battle to start. Hmm. On the one hand, you know? I could give Ayla a... Br no, I want her to have the doubled evasion. Because her standard evasion is already so awesome. Evasion is one of those things where patching it up while it's weak doesn't work as well as just taking the person who's best at it and doubling how good they are at it, I feel. Rollo kick, spin kick, drill kick. Let's see here. Can't go over there. Oh, right. You go over this log. A medether. Yep, 
Alright, so every time there's a clearing, there will be enemies. And so few of them are actually dinosaurs. Hey. Nice. So I'm not sure if it's because the tech points are more generous, because I haven't been paying enough attention. Yeah, two tech points isn't that generous. Or if Ayla just learns her first, her second skill really quickly after her first. A savage cat attack. I really love the falcon hit tech. Like, for a while, I, f I feel like it's the strongest tech you have. Like, it's a, it's a combo tech. Oh, hey. Multiple kinds of enemy. I'm glad that so many characters in this game get healing techs. At the time I played this game, I was used to RPGs. Well, no, I'd played, what, Mario, Mario RPG, and, uh, what was that other? Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, I think, by the time I played this one. So, no, never mind. I wasn't used to RPGs that let you have four characters. I was used to RPGs that let you have two or three. But, allowing any, well, most characters to have healing techs eases up the party composition troubles that you might otherwise have. 270 experience, 6 tech points, a petal, a fang. A shelter, how nice. Huh, I thought I would be going through here. Um, what am I missing? What am I missing? Like, the path goes here. Oh, and then you go up here. Okay. And then there's a clearing, so there's... Yep. Yeah, this is why I wasn't putting the Berserker on Chrono, because... I want to be able to defeat these enemies relatively quickly. Oh, wow. Yeah, even Ayla's critical attacks aren't doing that much damage to them. But Chrono's lightning just annihilates them. Ninety-six experience, four tech points. Okay, which way do I go? Okay, that's clearly going to have an encounter. There's... Oh, this is the way forward. So, there's treasure around here. I can see why it might get annoying to have all of these combats here. I like how when you highlight the tech, it shows you which characters are involved. Oh, wow. Yeah, anyway, I can see how all these combats might get annoying, especially when you're used to being able to avoid combats by going around them. But what I see is delicious experience. And also, tech points. I like how this game gives leaked experience to characters who aren't participating in combat. I think the rule is they get the same amount of experience, but, like, while the characters actually participating in combat get spillover experience if they level up, like, say you need one point to level up and you earn 100 points, you get the 99 points toward the next level. Characters who aren't participating in combat don't get the spillover experience. So if they need one point to level up and get 100 experience points, they only get the one point. Let's see, mid tonic restores 200 HP. There we go. So, do the two paths just converge somewhere around here? Or did I miss a secret? Oh, hey, look at those! Yeah, 
Alright. Ow. Oh, right. Darn it me, I should have just used lightning on that. Oh well, still one. Oh, this is the secret. And then I need to go back, unless I can go under here. I can go under here and then Oh, so it's... Oh, no. There's more than one enemy here. Neat. It's so neat that when that enemy hurls one of your characters, it's the character... Like, the character actively being hurled doesn't get hurt, just the target that they get hurled at gets hurt. Take that, winged ape. Okay, so I'll grab this. And the two paths do converge here. One of them is just much shorter than the other. Hey, more treasure. Heal. Alright, and then I can continue the... No? Eh? Huh. What am I meant to do here? Oh. There we go. Alright, join me next time when I visit the Reptite Lair. I will see you, oh, I do want to save, I will see you next time.